Hello, today I'm about to talk about two Hot Wheels ID models. One of them I think is great, one of them I thought was terrible. And, uh, the great one, in my opinion, it's a BMW i8 Roadster, the terrible one, which um, the BMW is a, a brand new release and it's the first casting. To, the, the casting first appears in Hot Wheels ID in this color this specific model to be exact, and one that um, is a carryover from main lines and is one of the worst ones I've ever seen in my opinion, and that's a Jaguar F-Type Project 7. Uh, both of them I got from Amazon. The um, BMW actually got a full price. Uh, I've never seen it go under uh, $6.99, so fine, it was okay. I do like this casting, I think. I'm gonna get it. The um, Jaguar, I think I got it for like three bucks. Um, the, uh, let's see. Which one? I mean, let's start with the BMW first. Uh, so CIA Roadster. I do think I is a great looking car. Um, I think mechanically and like performance wise, it might not be the greatest. I I, not a expert on these issues, so um, don't quote me on that. But it might. It's a really cool tech demo more so than anything else. But just gorgeous looking car. Just look at that thing. Sorry, there's something stuck under my tripod. I'm gonna remove it. It's gorgeous, and uh, one of the most common colors is this bronze, orange, orange bronze color, whatever you want to call it, metallic orange. Uh, what I, um, I'm gonna get the uh, a couple of negatives out first because this thing I don't think it's perfect. Uh, first of all, is the uh, windscreen. A lot of like roadster like convertible designs, Hot Wheels just have like the side windows up as well. I don't think it looks as well. I, if you go online, you can see convertible like the BMW i8 Roadster with the side windows up, but more so than. More often than not, they're not up. And especially because Hot Wheels never paint the, uh, you know, I don't even know what to call it, like the dividers uh, between mirrors, like the frame, right? Hot Wheels almost never paint the frames. It just look even more out of place if it's um, just the front windscreen up, even without the, um, uh, the frame, it doesn't look as bad. And I think right now it doesn't look great. It doesn't kill the whole thing, but it doesn't look great either. Uh, other problems with the front is uh because like these things are like seven dollars right um uh you know like suggested retail price and all that um these things are premium and you do get for the most part like premium all around printing if you see cat hair yeah I'm sorry about that I do need to clean after um the owner picks up the cat or uh, his friend actually uh so you're supposed to get like a full all around uh paint but. The corner right here, you see this triangular color uh, area right here? This should be painted black. This should not be the color of the body. It's black, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, but other than that, like, first of all, yeah, the color is just gorgeous. I love this color of the car. And um, it's pretty well painted, you know, like BMW logo, I8. Um, it's a bit of a paint, black paint missing from here, which is unfortunate, but it's not a huge deal. Let me just gonna uh, compare with the... Um, Matchbox premium version of this car. Now this is an interesting one. It's a uh, first of all, if you compare them side by side, you can see uh, Hot Wheels again, just flatter and uh, um, wider than the I think car's supposed to be. Uh, but still, it looks good, right? You look at it, it's so, okay. It's an i8. There's no um, there's no question. It's an i8. Um, even though um, you can see the Matchbox one, obviously, it's a much more accurate proportion-wise, which is something I do prefer. Like, for the most part, I think uh, Matchbox cars are better than Hot Wheels cars, but except for the premium stuff. If this thing doesn't have opening parts, I think it's going to be an absolute beauty, and I'd love to have it in my um, collection. First of all, you can see uh, it has uh, side mirrors, Hot Wheels doesn't, which makes perfect sense because this thing is designed for the tracks. Not having any side mirrors makes perfect sense. It's got rubber tires, really nice rims. Um, I don't know how um, accurate they are to the real thing, but they do look more realistic than the house ID wheels. What kills it is the opening doors. Uh, innovative, yes, like look at it. It actually opens up and all that, but just the color, because it's a blue cloud color plastic and they didn't even bother, <clears throat> excuse me, to like just spray paint it with the same um, metallic paint it has right here. It just looks so different. Like. I don't mind plastic pieces on cars, on model cars, especially at this price point, right? But like, first of all, this thing is $5 retail. Uh, at least last time I saw one, a um, premium Matchbox car sold in um, Target. That's surprised. Oh, by the way, you can see it's actually painted black on the front, which is nice. Uh, this is a, supposed to be like a full premium car. It's, uh, 
it's not just it's just oh if this is like spray painted was the same color as the body that's gonna be great I, that's all i ask ask for another problem is if you look at like top down also doesn't look good like if this is in like um like a city diorama it's gonna be pretty nice like something just in the background and oh the door's open and uh you can just have a part here with someone getting on or off it's, it's nice right but if you're actually looking for like a model display no like somehow this uh how we was one despite having pretty bad proportions um really bad it's uh inaccurate again it's a it's a design feature not a bug uh it just looks more displayable and more collectible and this is supposed to be a toy which is a bit of a shame now the next one the how wheels absolutely butchered in my personal opinion is jaguar because the jaguar i don't have anything to compare it to first of all it's being sold for like 330 or something like that it means probably not that many people are looking for this one right the jaguar f-type is a cool looking car it's a gorgeous looking car it's not the e-type obviously but it's still pretty good looking this looks like someone, this looks like a fish. I mean, I love fish, don't get me wrong, but for the most part, I don't want cars to look like fish. The only angle that doesn't look terrible is from like extreme side view. So like you don't see how flat and lengthy this is. This is what I call like the panini treatment. This is just, it barely resembles the car. Like the spectral flame is nice, which is why I got it, right? This nice spectral flame color, metallic. Um, this is definitely the cheapest way you can get a Spectra Flame car from Hot Wheels. So, yeah. And the, uh, larger rear wheels, which is sad. The, uh, Lamborghini Miura uh, Hot Wheels does have uh, enlarged rear wheels, which definitely, in my opinion, looks worse than, uh, same size wheels. So it's a bit of a shame, but this one just looks so much more out of place. Ew. This one only has, um, the, um, windscreen sound, though. The, uh, windshield sound, so that's interesting. It's better looking, in my opinion. British Racing Green for the uh, mainline releases. A uh, couple of the main, the mainline releases had the British Racing Green. This is like a special flame version of that with the uh, roundels. Oh, uh, by the way, backlights. You can see uh, it doesn't really fit the uh, the paint doesn't really fit the mold, and it's the same on both sides. So it's not like a so it's uh it's not like a misaligned print. It's more like. A design flaw in my opinion you can see the jaguar it's like the paint is nice i'm sure like play playability wise i'm sure it's great but man like someone stepped on the jaguar f type this is what happened after that that's a bit of a shame i i probably like the uh matchbox jaguar f type will be um, probably the best way to go is there any like premium versions i'm sure there are i haven't seen any but um that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it uh, ew. This is inaccurate and bad looking. This is inaccurate but good looking. Like, this, you look at it. So, it's a BMW i8 roaster. I think it might be because, like, BMW just so distinctive. Uh, this the i8 specific. Just so gorgeous looking. Um, but, like, the F-Type is also gorgeous looking. And they put a Suopanini press. That's it for this video. I don't know how to end this. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.